Philemon is one of Paul's four prison letters written from Roman imprisonment. He probably wrote this about AD 61. This would be Paul's first Roman imprisonment. And he wrote these books along with Ephesians and Colossians and Philippians. Philemon is probably the third prison letter that Paul wrote. And something really interesting had happened. There was a slave owner in Colossae, uh, which is in Asia, uh, just to the uh, east of where Paul was imprisoned. And this slave owner's name was Philemon. And he had a slave who ran away. And this slave's name was Onesimus. And Rome, where Paul was in prison, was sort of a population magnet. And so most likely Onesimus fled to Rome to kind of blend in with the crowd. And then providentially what happened is um, Onesimus came into contact with Paul. Perhaps Onesimus sought out Paul because what we discover in the book of Philemon is Paul had actually led Philemon, the slave owner, to Christ uh, earlier. And so Philemon had probably spoken to Onesimus uh, about Paul. But at any rate, Onesimus and Paul are providentially connected. Uh, and Onesimus got saved under Paul's ministry. And Onesimus became very useful to Paul, probably ministering to him during his house arrest there in Rome where he could receive visitors and so forth. Some believe that Onesimus became a chef or something of that nature for Paul. So Paul's desire was to keep Onesimus with him, but because he was the property of Philemon, Paul sends Onesimus back to Philemon. And really the heart of the letter, it's only one chapter, what he says is, look, this guy left you as a runaway slave. He probably stole property from you. But he's not coming back to you as a slave. He's coming back to you as a brother in Christ. And Paul says to Philemon, by the way, Philemon, you owe me one because I'm the one that led you to Christ. And so it's a beautiful letter. It spans just one chapter, but it's how the gospel works its way out in social contexts. You know, what, what do you do in a situation where someone leaves as a slave, a runaway slave, and has wounded you, but comes back as a brother in Christ? So the, really the book is very significant because it teaches us how the gospel works its way out in personal relationships. And as we grow in Christ, it should inform how we are to relate to each other as brothers and sisters in Christ and fellow human beings. And if you can just believe in Jesus and have, it, have no effect on how you relate to other people, then I would say you probably aren't growing in Christ the way you're supposed to. Because as you grow in Christ the way you're supposed to, you begin to treat others the same way God has mercifully treated you. And so that's really what the book is about, how the gospel works its way out in social contexts. And so it's just one chapter, but as you get into it, you'll see that it's filled with tremendous truth that we can apply to our lives. And so I hope you enjoy the book of Philemon.